praise God. Nang una, pinak. Dapat salamat po namin ang araw na to sa pag-umpisa ng meeting na to. Yan. Nawa, gawin niyo po kami sa gagawin namin meeting na ito, Panginoon. Kaya po ang manguna sa sa kalagitnaan ng ginagawa ng ito, Panginoon. At gawin din po sa lahat ng mga wala dito sa sa meeting na ito, Nawa, Panginoon, ay malaman din po nila yung mga ako din po na napatuloy pa sila ng ingatan sa araw-araw nilang ginagawa pa rin. Kaya din po pasundin po 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 yung mga pangangailangan nila at kaya din po sa darating na exam namin pa rin noon, nawa pa rin ay kaya po ang magbigay sa amin ng kasalinuhan. Malinaw na kaisipan pa rin noon para may pasa po namin ang exam na ito. Kaya din po, ingatan niyo po lahat ng mga anak niyo, Panginoon. Kaya po, ang salamat. Amen. Okay, amen. Okay, so let us start. Makikinig kayo ha, then unmute yun na lang pag kayo ay may tanong. Okay? So, today, uh, session 1 tayo sa review natin for Learning Strand 5. So, understanding oneself and society. So, ang learning strand 5 is more on um, facts. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya explanation, hindi siya solving facts. So, ibig sabihin, tatandaan natin. No? So, kung kaya isa ulo, sa uluhin. Pero kung kaya naman na intindihin na lang para matandaan yung facts na yon is intindihin na lang natin. Okay? So, first, so tuloy-tuloy ako ha, then I will give the answer, then tuloy ko ulit. If you have question, unmute at magtanong. So, first tayo, the company would like to measure the performance to their five-year sales of their products. What type of goal does the company will perform? A, tactical goal. B, strategic goal. C, tactical and strategic goal. D, none of the above. So, the correct answer is strategic goal. So, what is strategic goal ba? So, strategic goal means long term. So, five years or more. So, doon makikita yung achievement ng goal sa long term. No? For example nga, company sales. Okay, makita mo yung profit mo, yung kita mo kapag long term na. Di ba? But the tactical goal is short term. So, pwedeng makita the next day, the next week, or the next month. So, tandaan ha, tactical goal is a short term goal, and the strategic goal is a long term goal. Next, which of the following describes human rights? A, the freedom that all people should have. B, the freedom that only rich people should have. C, the rights of animals that humans should protect. D, the rights of adults only. So the correct answer is the freedom that all people should have. So alam ko namang alam yung human rights, di ba? And so human rights is the freedom of all people should have. Okay. Next. Chris is already five years old. His mother wants to enroll her in public school kindergarten level. What human rights does Chris' mother exercise? A. Right to live. B. Right to educate. C. Right to religion. D. Right to work. So the correct answer is, you can answer in your own there. Tapos, tingnan nyo kung tama ang sagot nyo. So, the correct answer is letter B. Right to educate. So, what is right to educate ba? So, educates, of course, sa pasukin ng bata sa eskwelahan. So, kapag hindi siya nakapasok, hindi niya na-exercise ang right to educate. So, tandaan, lahat ng tao, lahat ng bata has the right to educate. Karapatan nilang pumasok sa paaralan. Right to live. Okay, karapat nating mabuhay. Of course, no one is allowed to kill because we have the right to live. Right to religion, 
So we have the right to choose our religion, either Catholic, Iglesia, or Christian, or other religious sector. Right to work. So we have the right to work. Uh, karapatan natin magkaroon ng trabaho. Okay. Kaya na ginagawa nyo ngayon, of course. Okay. Next, they enforce and administer all laws and regulations relative to the conduct of an election, plebiscit, initiative, referendum, and recalling. What agency is this? So A, Commission of Higher Education. B, Commission of Elector. C, Commission of Election. D, all of the above. So the answer is Commission of Election. So again, Commission of Election conduct an election. Please visit initiative. So as uh, basta tungkol siya sa politics, tungkol sa uh, election process. The Commission of Election ang gumagawa ng process and other guidelines. Celebrate Thanksgiving for the rich and bountiful harvest for San Isidro Labrador. What festival is this? So, about festival naman tayo, no? So, celebrate Thanksgiving for the rich and bountiful harvest sa San Isidro Labrador. So, what is that? A. Moriones Festival B. Sinolog Festival C. Pahiyas Festival D. Ati-atihan Okay? The correct answer is Pahiyas Festival. So, Pahiyas Festival is a thanksgiving for the rich, bountiful harvest. No, marami silang na-harvest for San Isidro Labrador. Sa kan ang kanilang uh, santo doon is San Isidro or patron is San Isidro Labrador. So, Pahiyas Festival ang tawag doon. A festival of dance, ritual, and Catholic festival at Obando, Bulacan. A. Moriones Festival B. Sinulog Festival C. Pahiyas Festival D. Obando Fertility Rites Okay? So, Festival of Dance Ritual So, ito'y kadalasang ginagawa kapag gusto mong kaanak no? May hinihiling So, at ito ay located sa Obando, Bulacan Okay, so what is that? Okay, the correct answer is letter D, Obando Fertility Rights. Fertility Rights because yun nga, uh, kung gusto nila magkaanak, sila ay sumasayaw sa Obando. That is a festival of dance ritual. And that is called Obando Fertility Rights. Moriones is characterized by colorful and realistic Roman costumes, wears mask or visor that is called Morion. What province does Moriones Festival celebrated? Okay, ulitin ko. Morion, ang tawag doon sa kanilang uh, mask or visor. And what is uh, uh, the province? Saan galing yung Moriones Festival? What province does Moriones Festival celebrated? A. Marinduque B. Cebu C. Mindoro D. Baguio so, the correct answer is Marinduque. Okay, so Moriones Festival is celebrated in the province of Marinduque. And what is uh, the mass or visor called? That is called Morion. Okay, and the festival's name is Moriones Festival. The acceptance of the Filipino people in Christianity celebrated in Cebu City. So this is all about Christianity celebration. Okay? So the province who celebrated this festival is Cebu City. So what do you call that festival? A. Moriones Festival B. Sinulog Festival C. Pahiyas Festival D. Ubando Fertility Rites Okay, the correct answer is Sinulog Festival Again, 
Sinulog Festival is a Christianity celebration of Filipinos. Tandaan ha, Christianity celebration ay sinulog. Saan galing ang sinulog o saan nagsiselebrate? What province? The province of Cebu City. Okay? So, ito ay, uh, ang patron nila dito is Senior Santo Nino. Okay? Next. A Blooming Flowers Festival celebrated in Baguio City. A. Sinulog Festival. B. Panagbenga Festival. C. Ati-Atihan Festival. D. Pahiyas Festival. Again, it is a Blooming Flowers Festival. So kapag may celebration na ganito, maraming flowers. Iba't ibang flowers, no? Ang pinaparada nila. So what? Do you call that festival? That is a Panagbenga Festival. Saan galing o saan sinaselebrate ang Panagbenga Festival? In Baguio City. What is Panagbenga Festival? It is a Blooming Flowers Festival. Basta it is all about flowers that is Panagbenga Festival. It is one of the main devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary and last for the entire month. So it's all about celebration of devotion of Virgin Mary. And this is for the entire month. Anong month ito? Okay, May. Okay? So what is the festival? A. Sinulog Festival. B. Flores de Mayo Festival. C. Mascara Festival. D. Moriones Festival. So, the correct answer is Flores de Mayo. And then, ha, it is the uh, devotions on Blessed Virgin Mary in the whole month of May. Sinay That is the Flores de Mayo Festival. Next, is Asian painting regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting? So, all about naman tayo other countries, uh, kanilang culture and painting. So, East Asian painting regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. A. Portrait painting. Landscape painting. C. Wall painting. D. Tattoo painting. So, what is the answer? So, landscape painting. Tandaan, landscape painting is from the East Asian painting. No? As the highest form of Chinese painting pinakamataas na formation of painting ng Chinese is the landscaping painting. Next, which among choices is true concepts of East Asian painting? Okay, ano daw yung tama no, or correct na konsepto about the East Asian? Okay, like Chinese, no, Japanese. So ano yung tama dito? A, nature, so they are more on uh, nature painting. B, nature, heaven, and humankind, or what is called in Chinese is yin yang. C, humankind, okay, and D, none of the above. The correct answer is nature, heaven, and humankind, or the yin yang painting. So the East Asian painting is uh, more on the concept of their pa painting is more on nature, heaven, and humankind. And that is called yin yang. Okay? So, anong tawag sa nature, heaven, and humankind? Painting of East Asian, yin yang painting. No? Next. East Asian use different kinds of materials for painting. They often use blank as a medium to paint upon, but it was quite expensive. Okay, so they are using this material for painting, pero mahal siya, no? A, silk. B, maroon. C, satin. B, all of the above. So the correct answer is silk. Okay, so the East Asian use silk as their materials for painting. And then, ha? the East Asian used silk in painting. Next, 
when it first appears as an independent form, it is said that until the Joseon Dynasty, the primary influence of Korean paintings were Chinese paintings. So, fuck ito ha. Ibig sabihin, uh, we cannot change. Sabi mo, ano ba yung Joseon na yan? That is a dynasty. The uh, uh, East Asian uh, countries, meron sila mga dynasty. So, Joseon, uh, Joseon dynasty is one of their dynasty. By the primary influence of Korean paintings were Chinese paintings. Kailan yun? Kailan nagsimula? First appear. Kailan nagsimula? As independent form. So, A, 100 CE. B, 150 CE. Uh, C, C, 100 DC. D, 1000 AD. Okay, so the correct answer is 100 CE. Nag-start ang, alin, ang Joseon Dynasty, uh, the primary influence of Korean paintings, started as independent form. So, 100 CE. Which statement best describes the belief of East Asian temples and houses have sweeping groups? A. It will protect them from the elements of water, wind, and fire. B. It will protect from the enemies. C. It will give harmonious relationship in the country. D. All of the above. So, ano daw? Best describe the belief of East Asian temples. Bakit gano'n ang mga itsura na kanilang mga bahay have sweeping roofs? Meron silang sweeping roofs. Ano yung sweeping roofs? Yung na-adapt na Philippines na rin yun eh. Yung kanilang mga uh, roof ay meron silang yung parang yung parang, sa, yung parang pula, ba? Tapos parang maraming hagdan-hagdan na parang dulo ng yero lahat. Diba? So, mamaya ipakita ko na lang para makita niya. So, what does mean na dyan? Statement best describes. The correct answer is, it will protect them from the elements of water, wind, and fire. Okay, yan yung meaning ha. Kaya sila na meron silang sweeping roofs because naniniwala sila na it will protect them from elements of water, wind, and fire. In India, are 30 rock cut cave monuments that date back from the 2nd century BCE to the 600 CE. So, meron dun sa India kasi na 30 rock cut. Okay? So, what do you call that 30 rock cut? Anong tawag dun sa India? A. The steel light seals. B. The ajanta cave. C. The Indian arts. D, none of the above. So, the correct answer is the Ajanta Cave. Tandaan ha, Ajanta Cave is a 30 rock cut cave. Of course, so, sa choices, kita mo naman. So, syempre, 30 rock cave, of course, the, uh, tinatawag din siyang the Ajanta Cave. Alagang maging art siya, di ba? So, siya cave. So, cave din ang sagot. Next, which statement is true about the image of Shiva? Yan. So, that is Shiva. Yan nga sa picture dyan. Nakikita nyo, no? Yan yung art na si Shiva. So, ano bang true? Bakit ba andyan si Shiva? Bakit sila naniwala kay Shiva? A. Shiva is the destroyer. B. Cosmic dancer represented by a four-arm figure. C. Where one hand holds the fire with which he destroys. D. All of the above. So, which is the statement true about Shiva? The correct answer is all of the above. So, ibig sabihin, Shiva is the destroyer. Shiva is the cosmic dancer represented by a four-arm figure. And Shiva is where one hand holds the fire with which uh, he destroys. Ayan. So, ayan yung picture ni Shiva. Baka lumabas sa test ang picture. So, that is Shiva. Pag nakita nyo yung ganyang hitsura, that is Shiva. Next, moguls distributed to the enrichment of Indian culture. In painting and in, an, in architecture, the most splendid example is Taj Mahal. 
built in 1632. Who built Taj Mahal? So, si Taj Mahal ay uh, pinayo siya last 1632. Tandaan ha, si Taj Mahal. Okay? At saan yan? Sino nag-contribute niyan? Ang mga Mughals. So, sino nagawa kay Taj Mahal? Who built Taj Mahal? A. Shasha B. Shanjahan C. Ha Hahanshi The wife of Shah Jahan. The correct answer is Shah Jahan. So, ginawa si Taj Mahal, uh, tribute niya ito para sa kanyang wife na si Shah Jahan. Uh, wife of Shah Jahan. No? So, ginawa ni Shah Jahan ang Taj Mahal for his wife no, para uh, regalo siguro or something. Kailan ginawa? 1632. Okay. Which statement is not true about Diwala? So, kapag nag-test kayo, uh, tingnan nyo maigi yung true at saka not true. Baka kayo ay malito. Dito sa statement na to, not true ang ating hahanapin. Okay? Which statement is not true about Diwali? So, A. Diwali is celebrated by Hindus in India and all around the world in October or November. B. It is a very exciting and colorful holiday where homes are cleaned to welcome the new year and windows are opened so that the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, can enter. C. Diwali known as Festival of Darkness. D. Hindus believe that she cannot enter a house which is not lit up. So, every household burns special Diwali clay lamps diyas. So, what is the answer? Ano bang hindi totoo, not true about Diwali? Diwali known as Festival of Darkness. Because Diwali is known as Festival of Lightness. No? So, Diwali ay ibig sabihin about, ayan nga, colorful holiday, okay, abundant, kapag binuksan mo yung mga bahay mo, papasok si Diwali. So, the same with us, gano'n naman tayo sa New Year, di ba? Buksan lahat ng bahay, ay buksan lahat ng bahay. Buksan lahat ng pintuan and bintana sa bahay. So, the same with the uh, Hindu, they believe that Diwali will enter their house kapag bukas ang bahay during their colorful holiday or New Year. Next, the Philippine flag was first host by General Emilio Aguinaldo year 1898 who sawn the Philippine flag 1898 designed and used until now. So, again, sa question pa lang, meron na kayong makukuha dyan na learnings. So, 1898, unang tinas o winawagayway ang watawat ng Pilipinas no? by General Emilio Aguinaldo. Kailan nga? Uh, unang winagayway ang, Pilip ang watawat ng Pilipinas, 1898, June 12, 1898, particularly, no, by General Emilio Aguinaldo. Who shown? Sino ang nagtahi? No? Sino ang gumawa ng Philippine flag natin during that time? A. Marcela Marino di Agoncillo. Lorenza Agoncillo and Delfina Herbosa del Natividad. B. Corazon Aquino. C. Andres Bonifacio. And D. Emilio Aguinaldo. Sino bang tumahi? Of course, Marcela Marino D. Agoncillo, Lorenza Agoncillo, and Delfina Herbosa di Natividad. But, uh, according to the history, Ang nilagay lang nila dyan is si Marcela Marino di Agoncillo ang tumahi. But ang pinakatunay na silang lahat ang tumahi, ang nagtutulungan, is silang tatlo. But na-credit lang talaga siya. Kapag isang tao lang ang nakalagay doon, ang ilalagay nyo is si Marcela Marino di Agoncillo. Okay? Next, it is the passing of songs, stories, and poems to new generations by word of mouth. So, this uh, parang kwento, no? Passing of songs, stories, and poems. So, parang ano na siya? From noon hanggang ngayon, ginagamit natin. Passing. A. Legend. 
B, oral tradition. C, genre. D, folk songs. The correct answer is oral, oral tradition. So, when say oral tradition, lahat ito kasama. The legend, the genre, the folk songs, the story. Sa inyong oral tradition. Okay? Kwentong, kwentong pinapasa-pasa na sa atin. No? Mula sa mga inuno hanggang ngayon. That is the oral tradition. Next. What was based on truth in real people or events of the past, then exaggerated, then passed down by mouth of mouth? Tingnan nyo ha. What was based on the truth in real people? So, from the truth, ibig totoo na kwento ng mga real people or events of the past mula sa nakaraan. Then exaggerated, ano uh, lang, in-exage nila, alam matagal na exage pinalala nila, parang in OA nila, <laughs> kwento. Then passed down by mouth of mouth. Word of mouth. A. Myth. B. Folktale. C. Legend. D. Fables. So the correct answer, answer is folktale. So yung mga kwento na noon, na totoong buhay ng mga tao is, kinakwento din natin ng ngayon, or pinapasa-pasa natin, uh, dinadagdagan na lang natin. No? Para ma-exage siya at mabagay sa panahon. Okay? What is the primary purpose of a Filipino fable? Ano ba yung pinaka-purpose o dahilan ng Filipino fable? Bakit ba may merong... Wait, may mo. Bakit ba merong Filipino fable? Ano ba itong buhok na ito? A. To highlight Filipino culture. B. To entertain readers. C. To explain current events. D. To teach moral lessons. Okay? So, ang primary purpose is to teach moral lessons. So, ano ba yung fable? Pabula. Diba? So, may mga kwento na uh, about the, for example, si, ano yun, yung isang sikat na ano, si Pagong tsaka si, Pagong tsaka si, na ba yun? Koneho, di ba? So, meron doong moral lesson. Magpatamad-tamad, no? Okay? An epic poem of the Ilocano people from the Ilocos region of the Philippines. An epic poem. Ito yung uh, poem from Ilocano or Ilocos region. So, A. Malakas at maganda. B. Biag nilang ang. C. Silanggam at ipaklong. D. Si Pagong at Kuneho. So, kapag galing sa Ilocos, that is Biag Nilamang. Okay, pwede nyo isearch yung kwentong Biag Nilamang para maintindihan nyo. Paano yung Biag Nilamang? Okay? Ang Biag Nilamang ha is from Ilocos. Epic poem from Ilocos. Next, the famous Mindanao epic, or the story of King Indrapatra and his brother Sulaiman. So, anong tawag doon sa kwentong yon? A. Biag ni Lamang B. Indire Patra Sulaiman C. Malakas at Maganda D. Si Pagong at Koneho So, of course, nasa story na siya si King Indire Patra So, the correct answer is B. Indire Patra at Sulaiman Epic of heroine that appears in the legend of Mount Mayon in Albay so, ito naman ay tungkol sa pagiging bayani, no? Story about heroism. Mula sa Mount Mayon, sa Albay. A. Dragang Magayon. B. Indra Patra at Sulaiman. C. Biag Nilam Ang. D. Beauty and the Beast. So, the correct answer is Dragang Magayon. Okay? So, Dragang Magayon is an epic of heroine appear in Mount Mayon in Albay. Isang uri ng laruan. So, Tagalog naman tayo because LS5 is mix siya. May Tagalog, may English. So, isang uri ng laruan panlibangan o laruan na ginagamitan ng bolang ratan o isang bilog at pinisang piraso ng bakal na may buntot na mga hibla ng plastic. So, anong klaseng laro ito? Larong Pilipino. Okay? A. Patintero B. Habul-habulan 
C, sipa. D, agawan ng base. Okay, tignan natin. Laro ang panlibangan, laro na ginagamit ng bolang ratan, bilog. Okay, so alam nyo na siguro kung ano yan. The correct answer is sipa. Okay. So sipa, ginagamit na ng bilog na bolang ratan. No? Next. Alin ang tamang paraan sa paglalaro ng patintero? Maaring laruin ng tatlo, wait, A. Maaring laruin ng tatlo hanggang limang manlalaro sa bawat kupunan. B. Kailangan mo nang gumuhit ng dalawa o apat na parisukat. Depende sa dami ng manlalaro sa bawat kupunan bago magumpisa ang laro. C. Dapat ay pantay ang bilang ng miyembro ng bawat kupunan. At D. Lahat na nabanggit. Anong sagot? Paano maglaro ng patintero? Okay, so lahat ng nabanggit. Ikaw ay uh, laruin ng tatlo hanggang limang man manlalaro. So, five, three to five members dun sa patintero. Kailangan mo nang gumuhit. Okay, magugumuhit kayo na parisukat. Dapat ay pantay ang bilang. Of course, kung apat dun sa kabila, apat din dun sa kabilang grupo. So, lahat ng nabanggit. Isa sa mga popular na laro ng Pilipino na nilalaro ng dalawang kupunan na may parehas na bilang. Ang bawat kupunan ay mamimili ng pinuno na malimit na kakayahang pinakamataas tumalon sa grupo na kung tawagin ay nanay. Okay? A. Luksong tinik. B. Patintero. C. Holen. Wala sa nabanggit. Okay, from the word nila nga, ang bawat kupunan ay mamimili ng pinuno na malimit, nakakayahang pinakamataas tumalon. So, ano kaya iyan? So, that is the luksong tinik. Ito ay patag na lupa sa taas ng kabundukan. Ano ang tawag dito? Doon naman tayo sa ano naman, anyong lupa, anyong tubig naman tayo. So, ito ay patag na lupa sa taas ng kabundukan. Okay, so, isang bundok, tapos patag yung ibabaw. O sa pinakataas niya, patag. Anong tawag doon? Okay? Oh wait, A, lambak, B, talampas, C, burol, D, kapatagan. So, ang tawag doon is talampas. Okay? Wait. Stop ko muna. Okay. May naintindihan ba kayo? <laughs> unmute na kayo, unmute kayo, unmute kayo. I-unmute niyo yung mic niyo. Hindi ko kayo maririnig. Oh, Michael, Jerry, Jernaline. May naintindihan? Madali. Madali. Ma <laughs> medyo madali. Medyo hindi. Oh, perfect kasi Michael. Diba kung huli naman, medyo okay. <laughs> uh, diba? Diba? So, sa elastics kasi, para siyang AP. Naalala niyo yung mga lesson niyo noong elementary kayo, di ba? Tsaka high school. Okay. Doon sa English naman na part, sa East Asian na painting, so dapat, ano niyo yun ha? Kahit na paano ay matandaan niyo, makatanda man lang kayo kapag nag-test. Hindi man mas sa ulo yung yeah. meaning, matandaan natin. Okay? So... May tanong kayo doon. Wala namang tanong, di ba? Kasi fax siya eh. <laughs> so, ang kailangan lang natin, tandaan natin. No? Yes, about history. Natalie? May question kay Janaline? Ayaw nga patagan. Janaline, pakipindot yung ano mo, Mike. Hindi kita pindot. Pakialmit yung mic mo, nasa screen mo. Yung parang microphone. Tapos, yung isa... Ano ano? Wala pa ma. Ah, 1 to 30 muna tayo. After nito kasi meron na akong link na papasagutan. Michael, ano sasali ka ba bukas, Michael? So wag ka muna magsagot, Michael. Sige pa. Ay, si Jarik muna magsagot. So meron na akong link ipapasa. Mga after 10 minutes ya pa sa ko ha. I-send ko lang dun sa Google. Through internet din ha. Through ano din siya. Uh, Google form siya. So, doon kayo magsasagot, doon isasubmit. 
Okay? Okay po. Okay. Adrenaline and Jeric. So, after 10 minutes, uh, darating na yun sa, isasend ko sa, sa inyo na lang. Personal. Kay Michael ko na isend o kay sa'yo, Jerry? Kay eh, Mike na po, ma'am. Palakas okay. do signal ni Mike eh. <laughs> Sige. So, for now, yun muna. Recorded naman to. So, I will, uh, sa Monday ko na isend yung record nito kasi meron pang mga pang Sabado bukas. Okay? Kailan nyo po, ma'am, isisend? Man, ay, yung test nyo mamaya, after 10 minutes. Itong uh, video nyo? sa Monday na para ma-recall nyo yung lesson na yun. Hindi na kayo magsulat-sulat, no? Okay? Okay. So, wala na question. Send ko na lang after 10 minutes yung question na sasagutan ninyo. Okay? Okay. Huwag magano ha. Huwag magtanong ha. I-test nyo ang sarili nyo ha. Hindi ko kailangan ng perfect score. Ang kailangan natin yung naiintindihan nyo. Or ma naalala nyo ba yung ating... Oh, alag, may, may kodigo si Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, um, yung, yun din po yun, ma'am, sa ano? Oh, ah, yung... itong inaral natin, oo. So, pwede nyo, yung, yung kodigo nyo, is aralin nyo muna, bago kayo. <laughs> oh. Ah, madaya si Mike. Aralin nyo muna, ha, bago kayo magsagot, para magpapalaman nyo kung alam nyo ba o hindi. Let's lang po yun. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so, end mo na tayo nito. So, good luck na lang sa atin. Uh, every, Jerry, every Saturday ka na, ha? Okay pa. Okay, so, yung iba natin kasama is every Sunday. Kasi, lagi na tayo magre-review para kahit na paano may maalala tayo sa pagdating ng test. Okay? Ding nga itong oras po yun, ma'am. Ding one po. Ah, uh, every 1 p.m. na lang para nakapa nakakain na kayo. Nakatanghal. Dito na kasi nakain, ma'am. Time. 1 2 3. Anong gusto, Jerry? Di okay na po, ma'am. Okay na po yung 1. Okay. Then pwede ba kayong kumain habang ako nagdi-discuss? Gusto <laughs> <laughs> niyo kasi to, ma'am. Hindi pa po kasi nagluluto sa bahay bag pagdawan. Ah, bigyan mo na ako mga kain sa kanto. Bigyan mo na kami kay Michael lang french fries. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Po, okay, sige. Kumain ka na, Jeric. So, bye for now. Okay, bye-bye. Jenaline, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.